Let's go build a new cover frame. Hey everybody. Uh, by the time this is done, we'll have built the new cover frame. I will make an apology. I've done, I've put a couple of titles of boat maintenance up and didn't realize the kind of views those was going to get. Um, they got some pretty good views and I didn't video a lot of it because a lot of it to me was just humdrum, cut and dry, uh, no big deal. But this one, we're building this new uh, cover frame. There's going to be some real-time video in the beginning, and at the, and at the end, we're going to do a time-lapse of the whole thing. But again, I don't, I didn't mean to clickbait or tease anybody on any kind of maintenance and not show it. Like I said, what I'd consider to be kind of dull and droll and humdrum, uh, got some pretty big numbers. I just didn't realize that until the stats came in and I seen that. So anyway, here we go with the uh, new new cover frame build. We're getting a start on this, everybody. Uh, if you picture this, these were arched in the back, side to side to the rod holders. And there's a reason I had reservations and I voiced them about putting those under a strain. It got a little cool up here, not even cold, got down to the 40s. And that got brittle enough to break under that that strain. There's going to be no strain on these. There's no, going to be no pressure arches. Yeah, it adheres to it when it's warm. But when it gets cold and it's had enough, a little wind or something got on it and broke it. But that was a concern and it proved out. Dear first mates volunteer to go to Home Depot, which is that building right there, get supplies. Now, go in order here. I've cut the old uh, pipe, salvageable pieces, reuse what I can of that. We'll see about those, those bent ones. Next order of business. We're getting rid of this useless thing. Look who's walking yonder there. Okay, we got our three long pieces. We're going this way. We're going to angle down to these. So, these front ones are going to be a little shorter because the cover angles down. You'll see here in a minute. So, I got one more piece of that length to be right back. So, we're going to dry clean everything, of course. We had a little confusion over T's and four ways here. Then three or four trips to uh, oh, that ain't gonna work. Three or four trips to Home Depot so far, and there's probably gonna be more. So I need to put one here. Probably working on the wrong side. Cutters. They're over here. Okay. Let's see now. Get in lining. Get these laid out flat. Do. 
we out of 90s? Is there more? Hang on. There's another one in there, I think. And the left hand side. Did you already grab that one that was over there? Back up a little bit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize that one was going to. Yeah, cool. Sorry. No problem. No problem. Let me see what, how high yeah. that's going to meet to begin with. Are we recording? Yep. Okay. So what we're going to do, tap this in there, put a T there. Let's go about here. Like I said, that cover gets shallow up front and deeper towards the back. Now we'll go to the back here and work. Let's see, one of those long ones. Yeah, we're gonna need a, another 10 foot stick here for us over with. So it's basically going to be that. Whoops, cutter. I like that all the way down. So. If I hit you with this, it's probably intentional. <laughs> now you tee one in here. Here. From there and there. And that's how it's going to work. Cool. All right. Now.
Take the, the other ones you got cut. Where? In the back of the truck? Yeah, this is there. You got longer ones. You can probably use that oh, up there on that other side. We are recycling the best we can. We're going to use these curved ones. I thought I'd have more more than this. Yep, like I said, we're going to need. I have no tape measure. Let me measure this. Let's Three, four, six, eight, and one, ten, okay. Two, four, six, eight, and one, ten. Is that another ten? We need one more stick, yep. Okay. See, I got these out of alignment. That one was already cut, and I didn't realize it was placed in, so I lined up on the wrong side. Hmm. Can you trade it? I don't guess you can, can you? Well, where's that one? I could, yeah. Possibly. I wish they'd answered their phone. Mm -hmm. well, let's try that. That works better. 27 inches. Let me get my measurements done. Twenty-seven. Come on over out of the sun here. Hmm. That's what? 
five trips to Home Depot, <laughs> maybe six. NSF. What does NSF mean? Not safe for food? Probably. Not safe for fools? No, it's waterline, it's safe. Hard to Huh? Hard to Somebody know what that means and come in on it. Thank you. Good. Good. How are you? Huh. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. That might be another trip. Yeah, up here, you know, focus on what's going on here. <laughs> Sorry, I was don't, looking for pieces. Don't look. Don't look. <laughs> I, you don't know what you're looking for. You got all the wrong pieces. <laughs> you got the wrong ones. Yeah. I don't want you looking for pieces. Let's look right there, all right. Whoops. All right. What? You figure out how we're gonna get this back to the storage lot yet? We're gonna have to bungee it down. Yep. <laughs> so don't you look, you look through the camera. That's that's where you look. That's why the camera don't end up in the trees. Look look through the camera. <laughs> well I was thinking if we had a short piece. I need a coupler. Just a coupler. And I got short piece. You still need to slide that into something like this to extend it. How? Oh. That that's a coupler. That's why you're. Yeah. Hang on a minute, and I'll get one. That's why you're in charge. Wrong side. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Awesome. 
Now what, glue it all together? Fun! Now the fun starts. We gets, may scab another one in here. Just because it's on the seat. Yeah. Because there's a pretty good span there. And we got the seat to help support it. We got enough? Huh? We got enough? I'm talking about later. I ain't doing it. Oh, stuff. okay. <laughs> uh, done. I'm done. Okay. See how this goes first. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. Y'all haven't noticed we did not go fishing today. We laid in bed and we slept and it was good. I regret nothing. Uh, Want to get this done before it rains? I have a concern here. Now, can we just put a bar across on the along the seat? I don't know. I'm making this up as I go. Well, I know. Let me let me make this up as I go. I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> Cover's going to come down. Actually, the cover's going to come to here, from the top down. I could form a pocket there. You know, I could tee this. Got some tees up here and run long ways above this. I kind of thought maybe that's what you was going for. <laughs> what you had in mind? Watch the camera, not me. <laughs> I mean, look through the camera. <laughs> Your eyes lie to you anyway. They lie. Absolutely lie. So don't believe me. <laughs> or we could pull this thing out to where it's going to rest up here. Nah. But if it gets any pressure from snow and ice, it's going to mash down and splay out. <clears throat> hmm. Follow me, I mean, yeah, if it gets a lot of snow weight on it, it fits up here. You just have to pop upwards and off the sides. Right. Now these we scab in if we do, we could run to here. Where they'd lay on this. Yeah. Let's see, for example, we run from there, just lay on here, a couple of each side, or wherever. There's the trial fit. It ain't strapped and tightened down yet. Of course, we've got some sags and bags because of that. We're just looking here. She's insane. <laughs> she is. She is absolutely certifiably insane. Why? Your pool noodle fetish. They're handy. Insane.
this is the part I enjoy. Now that's a pretty fresh batch too. That's a good batch. Fighting socks. Get one for the road here. <laughs> Why would you say that? It's a little stout. <laughs> Starting to feel better? My back pain ain't gone away totally yet. Give it time. We ain't getting your butt, your pool noodles on, are we? Which is fine because we probably need to let it dry, and we'll just slide them, slide them down the center, and just pop them on. We won't. I will. But I'm yeah, no, that's not a problem. I'm confident we won't. Yep, not a problem. We'll just slid them down and 
Kapan? Jesus, this stuff's going everywhere. That's going to annoy me when it dries. Mm -hmm. But I'll get it. Well, you better get the one out the back then. Huh? You better get that one then. Where? Out the center. It's on your gas tank and blow it. Ah. Wash it, probably eat a hole in my gas tank. That? Yep. So. Oh, better. Did I get that one? I did, didn't I? Yep. Getting kind of easy to lose track here. Can you just leave that one? Did I get that one? Or maybe it's just tight enough you can leave it yeah, for now. Yeah, that'll do for now. Go ahead and get it. All right. That made it easier. Killing this crap off my hands for weeks. Mm. As long as we have all the bottom ones done, we don't have to do the top, do we? Yeah. I don't want it getting weighted down and pulling apart. Oh, okay, gotcha. Like that end down there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, get flapping in the wind and uh, Got it. Okay. rain and stuff. It'll, it'll eventually work itself apart. Yeah, we don't want that. I got this one, didn't I? Oh, yeah. If you see the yellow stuff on it, yeah. No. Yes, everybody, I know you're supposed to prime it. Scrape the edges and everything. But we're not laying water line here. We're building a boat frame, okay? Right. Yeah. Easy peasy. So here we go. Let me get up in there. It'll be fun, they said.
was twisted together and everything. Yeah, I'm fully aware of that. But again, I'm, I'm not, not doing that. I'm building a house here. No, twist off the other eye. And <clears throat> Ink. No, okay. I thought you cut yourself. No, I'm not bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's missing. I haven't drawn blood yet on this job. That that's a problem. That's why it's not bleeding so well. Well we've got a bunch of crap in this boat, don't we? <laughs> you know what I'm gonna set down here. I've got a bench. Itty bitty in there. You it don't drip in your hand. Yeah, it's all over my hand anyway. One more? That one? That one done? I don't know. <laughs> That's the one you're talking about. Yeah. All right. 
far. I, I think, think it's just this side. Everything else is glue. You got a drip. Or maybe you glue it. I don't see no yellow on it. It ain't coming apart. What? Maybe I already glued it. Yeah, that's it. That'll do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's dirty. Back over the side and show you there. Should have been a plumber. Here, want some? No, thank you. Now I know why they are plumbers. <laughs> I bet going to all this new pecs that you don't glue disappointed them. <laughs> all right, let's take a break here. Okay, she's taking her steel picture. She's proud of this. This is it for today. What I am going to do is I'm going to tee off the center, run some down to rest on these sides. You know, fill in these gaps, raise this up over the edge of the, raise the cover over the edge. Not today. Uh, six trips to Home Depot. But what we got is a good sturdy frame to begin with. I mean, it's as sturdy as can be. That's what I wanted. I can build off that. Like I said, tee off a couple of spars. And uh, bring this back part that's the roomy on the cover above the edge. And it'll shed. A couple of, couple of spars, ribs, whatever you want to call it. Lay it on the edge, put some caps on it, keep the rough edges down. And, but there it is. We're all connected. The frame's bungeed down for the trip up the road. Ain't going nowhere. Got a strap for and aft. I heard something fall in here when I was hooking up. I don't know what it was. Ah, oh, here it is. Adjusting knob to the trolling motor. Come off. I fooled with that the other day. When you get them right, don't screw with them. Leave them be. Don't be like me and have to tweak on it. Just let it be when you get them right. Then you spend two or three days afterwards getting it right again. So, okay. I do believe we are ready to go up the road this time. It'll do. It's ugly. Who cares? You ain't going to see it. You're going to see the shiny cover. We got it back where it's going. It's unbungied. There's a little crooked going down the road, bungeed up. Bungeed down so it wouldn't fly out. Got some odd looks, but we don't care. We don't care. Like I said, this town is used to seeing my boat going through. Miss Sonia there decided she's going to come up with a different mod here after we got it parked. We're done today. Done. Uh, no, done. <laughs> so there it is. We're a little off center, but who cares? If you're looking that close, you need to have cash in hand. What am I after? I'm after my charging cable thing before we cover it up. Oh. Wherever it went. There it is. Hook the solar charger back up here. That's what I was after. Hang on. Okay. We're hooked up. We're green light. We've got our drip loop. Got a drip loop in there. All right. Let's get this thing covered. Go find some supper. And be done. Okay, that's going to shed a lot. It's taller. It's going to give all that water stuff, snow, more run 
and like I said that those pocket areas still a problem but I want to fix that uh, people has cut tees and put over that edge I've got nothing inside for them to lock onto they're slick you get much down pressure they're going to pop right off there's just no no lip there to lock onto uh, you can see here what I'm saying we don't go all the way to the front because the front has cut cut a lot smaller than the back back there so we have to keep that in mind we go too high up there with not uh, not get coverage how'd you do that dear that's good and tight there that's fine yeah okay gotcha um, I'll scab some ribs in there running down that front's never a problem where it's cut and raises up even laying on the seat it raises high enough it sheds water so anyway there's a real good start I will get uh, get those ribs scabbed in it ain't gonna be today it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow and that's fine like I said we slept in today we laid around and absolutely no regrets I regret nothing some days you got to do that so we didn't hit the lake and uh, what's going on dear you all right yeah. you know, it's taking you longer I thought maybe you'd run into a problem no so, there you go like that you know, if we get these marked and everything done we'll cut those extra tails off Pull that on down if it fit before, just get, well, we're higher, so. Okay, yeah, we're higher up. Well, I can undo the other side. Well, all right, all right. This has got to be just so, that's why she does it. What I've done is never suited her. She's come back behind me and redone it. You know how that is. Surely all you married people out there know that. When, when it comes just to be just so, it's got to be just so. Hi, huh, dear. I reckon. Do what? I reckon. All right. We was making sure we could hear your answer there. You know, we didn't want you to give an answer where we wasn't listening. <laughs> you know, then you'd be all upset because wasn't listening, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll come over here and loosen this side so you can pull a little. Which one is it? This one right here you need? Well, all right, pull what you can. That do you? Yeah, all right. Well, snug them up on this side and we're done to where it suits you. But anyway, folks, here it is. Now I do want to make an apology here about this maintenance thing. Let me start again and put that in the beginning. <laughs> 